Hey everyone, getting started tonight. How is everyone doing? It is August 28th. And I'm excited for tonight. I know there's going to be quite a few people joining us this evening and I just am so very excited. Um, I'm going to be talking a little bit. There's just a few days left until our 30 day challenge starts. I will be sending you guys um, an email every single day. If you're a member of the By Megan Elizabeth website, um, you will be getting an email every single day from me. Um, and I hope you'll follow along and I hope that you'll really take it seriously because it is all about setting up success habits, habits of success, habits to change the way we do things, to start building um, things, just to look at things differently and to take a different approach and to really start um, just taking the to-dos and the basic principles and expounding upon them to really grow um, in business, in life, in personal development, in every area. So it's going to be a lot of fun. There's going to be a lot to it. Um, is it going to be the, um, I, I, I feel like it's going to be like just so impactful to everyone for the next 30 days and a, and a challenge in the way you think about things and do things that is going to just jumpstart you into motivation to take your goals and your dreams to a whole different level. And that's what I'm so very excited for with it. So um, that being said, you know, I've been talking about it a lot the past couple weeks. I'm just like the more, um, you know, I look over the, like everything that we're doing, I'm just like, I I'm thrilled. We have a couple basic things we'll be doing every single day, like your daily three. Um, I have something that we're gonna be reading every single day and it's not gonna take very long. The goal is in two hours or less, Literally expose your business, change your own personal habits, start changing your health and kind of doing a little bit of a cleanse, detox, rebuild of your your whole system for a happier um, mental, physical feeling, for even some weight loss, um, for just overall health. It's, it's like all, it's all in there. It's just going to be awesome. We're going to have so much fun. I've actually been working um, since the craft event. Um, I took my little book here that I had started showing everybody uh, creating, which is the little uh, Simple Stories uh, binder here. And I actually took it a little step further and um, I'm doing my daily threes in here. And I also have the my contacts for everybody that is on my team. And I actually have a small copy, um, my own personal copy of Donnie, Danny, him, Donnie, Danny, Do now I can't say it, Danny Johnson's script book, which is a really powerful thing. Um, and then it also has some of my goals. And in the back, I'm going to start putting pictures and scrapbook um, little layouts and stuff of things that have been achieved. And this is for the my new like 30 day challenge start into the 2014 year. So I'm really excited about the, or the rest of the 2014 year. So I'm pretty excited about using that. You guys will see that a few more throughout the um, 30 days as well as a lot of other things. So it's going to be awesome fun. Um, tonight I wanted to talk a little bit about um, it, honing in on your goals a little bit more because sometimes I think goals, you know, we, we've said this before, goals are truly dreams with deadlines. You know, there's something that you actually have to put intention to and work towards. It's not just a wishful thought of, oh, it would be nice if, right? So if it's not just an, oh, it would be nice if, you need to start a roadmap to get there. And is everything that you do um, actually going to um, just show you your end goal and your end dream? Maybe or maybe not. But we want to get on the path towards the success you want, right? So it requires certain a certain mindset, it requires a certain shift, it requires action, it requires what I call those three R's, we talked about again, just a quick little overview. The three R's are research, reach out, and results. And it actually, it, there's kind of like flip sides to all three of those R's. The research is researching 
um, for yourself, the things that are helping you grow and learn and develop and, and grow as a person, your personal development skills. That's part of research. It's learning new skills, new tasks, um, and getting a good handle on all of those things. That's, that's your research. The other side of research is researching your potential client, your potential customer, your potential business partner. There's research involved in that. So there's two sides to the research. There is also two sides to um, reaching out. There's reaching out in a general sense of exposure and then there's literal one-on-one -on -one contact, reaching out, making contact to bring new people into the world of what it is that you're doing in a non-threatening, non-salesy way. And that also comes from part of research and that growing and that personal development is how you're going to learn how to properly reach out. And then finally is your results. The results in what your product, service, or idea does and the results that you're getting by doing those other two steps. So there's kind of those two sides to everything there. And I think it's really cool when you start putting those things into practice and really wrapping your mind around them, you really start growing and you start seeing the results. And it happens every time, time and time again, no matter who you are, no matter where you come from, no matter where you start from, utilizing those things, putting it into consistent practice, you will always see results. All right, so tonight, I did a little talk several months ago about um, pros and cons, sort of pros and cons of home-based businesses or network marketing. And so there's a couple ways you can go about earning money from a business standpoint. If you're looking to bring in additional income, there are many ways to go about it. And knowing your goals, your ideas, your dreams, the you know package, you can feel formulate your proper roadmap to get you to where you want to be as, as opposed to just pull everywhere and grabbing on anything and whatever. And I've been guilty of that more than once in my life. And really truly, when you come back down to the core, <laughs> use the core system, you start seeing results all over again. So that's what I'm really trying to drive in here in these weekly talks and then what 30 days is really going to be hitting on hard. So um, because we're going into the 30 days, I really want you guys to know hardcore what it is that you're doing, what goals you have in mind, and what is the uh, final outcome of them. Um, is it that you want your own product line? Is it that you want to make things just to sell? Is it that you really have information that you want to get out there to help um, other people learn, as in blogging or doing videos or things along those lines. Do you want to be teaching? Those are all things that you can do literally online and bring other people in doing your very own thing. You don't need to have um, another platform to work from. You can start pretty small and there's different ways to monetize those very things by selling products that you create yourself, that you make yourself, by literally going, getting a loan financing and coming up with a brand new product to manufacture, you can do those things. Um, and it's actually like not as hard as you would think it is. <laughs> you have to have proper income, it's a lot of risk and there's a lot to it and you have to market it and be consistent and go. And there's learning involved and there's development involved, but anybody can do it. There's also um, marketing or or producing your own ideas. You know, for example, the Cricket A to Z DVD. It was an educational DVD we had manufactured and we sold, and that was the monetization of Above Ruby Studio. Wasn't the intentional monetization of Above Ruby Studio, but that's what had happened. Um, also, through doing blogging, you can monetize through ads, through affiliates, that's kind of partnering, or JVs is joint venture, is partnering with other sites and, and cross-promoting to um, get a commission on sales that you refer to without actually being a consultant or an actual um, downline or anything like that. Um, they're not usually very high paying, but it's a small way you can um, affiliate yourself with other networks or communities to earn a little bit of an income. There's also sponsorships as your website grows or you do different things like that. You can go out do speaking arrangements. Um, there's so many things that you can do. Um, and I'm just trying to give you a little taste and hint because what a lot of people don't realize, I've heard this so many times in the past few months, well, how does blogging make you money? And that, there really is so many, there are so many answers and avenues to that. You can do it through a, member, a membership website where you're giving away free content of value, but then you also have a back end where there's specific 
value and build upon, kind of like by MeganElizabeth.com, where it's of more value. So people, it's a membership. People come and they get more by being a member and they pay for it and that monetizes the website. Um, you That's basically a service or an idea or a teaching that you're, you're monetizing there. Um, there's also... AdSense through Google. That is a great way to monetize just starting out. You put some different code into your blog and um, that gives you some advertising dollars. Um, there's also, like I said, the sponsors and the other things that as you grow and as you get numbers and as you get people coming to your site and as you build a list of value, that list that we talked about before where people are joining your site because you're offering them that free gift, that value, um, <laughs> You get, you get sponsors that come on board and they want to work with you and you can advertise and work out different agreements and arrangements through them. The other thing that is very, very valuable when you're doing blogging at, is to do your network marketing business. And that's what we're kind of talking about. Whether you're doing Close to My Heart or Stampin' Up or 31 Tote Bags or Jamberry Nails or Nerium or uh, doTERRA, uh, Ancient Living, Young Living, Longevity, Labry. The list goes on and on and on and on, right? I mean, there's Dove Chocolates even has a um, home-based business that you can join. Dove Chocolates, okay? There are so many. Scentsy, um, you know, the list goes on and on. And in that world of so many different things, how do you get set apart, notice, get business, be different, right? Um, there's pros and cons to all of it, okay? I loved home. I love home-based businesses and and um, that setup because it's very low risk. As opposed to me going out, taking out a loan, taking all the risk of bringing in the product, manufacturing the product, doing all the customer service for the product, doing all the marketing, doing all the design, doing all of the development. I have another company with a product that I love doing all of that stuff for me. So my risk is very low. Okay, and that's a big huge benefit of a home-based business. Is it the only way to do it? No, but it is a wonderful starting point to help platform somebody up to um, their, their goals and their next levels and their next dreams. And a lot of people have really crappy mindsets when it comes to a lot of home-based business um, ideas, offers, and opportunities. Because I think for so long, um, you know, it, it's gotten that bad rep of it's a pushy salesperson who's knocking on your door saying, we have to have a party here and we have to have a party there. Michelle's here. Hi, Michelle. Glad to see her. She's awesome. You guys are going to love Michelle, but we'll talk about her a little bit later. Um, it's still a very valuable tool in home-based businesses where you're going and doing home presentations and having get-togethers and doing these things with and having a ton of fun with them. But it isn't the only way to build your home-based business anymore. And... Um, making the calls, making the connections, building the relationships like we talk about, um, it's not a scam. And there's so many ways to diffuse the way that's looked at as well. Um, if you, you know, people will say, oh, is it, you know, this multi-level scam where the person at the top makes the most money and everybody down below you really is just, you know, the, the person making everybody else all the money. Well, if you think about it, <laughs> from the standpoint of what company do you work for? Isn't there a president somewhere at the top and some CEOs and vice presidents that are kind of making the most majority of the money, the owner of the company, and then there's some managers and senior managers making a little bit more. And, you know, isn't there a little bit of a pyramid kind of thing going on there? And you're kind of stuck as an employee, just making kind of the same wage, maybe with a little bit more every month. And you don't really have too much control? Did you ever think about it like that? It's amazing. Now, does building your home-based business take a little bit more of an effort and a uh, conscious decision on your part? Yes. Is it for everybody? Yes, I do believe it is. Will everybody do it? No. No. Will everybody be successful? No. Can anybody be successful? Absolutely. A 100 million gajillion percent. Anybody can be successful in any area. And what I wanted to talk to you a little bit about is kind of diffusing some of the some of the myths or the common mindsets of these home-based businesses um, and really talk to you about maybe some of the ones out there that would help you decipher what your goals are um, to determining what works best for you. I had somebody ask me um, actually just today, and I'm not sure if she's here or not, and I'm not, not going to call out her name, but she privately messaged me about 
um, wanting to become a consultant for Jamberry Nails. Loves Jamberry Nails and said the only thing holding her back is the startup cost. I believe, and I don't know because I'm not a Jamberry consultant, but I believe Jamberry has a $100 basically consultant sign up. And she asked what my suggestions were. And right off the bat, if you are serious, ready to go, want to build a business, are you building it because you like the product and you think it's fun and maybe you'll make a few bucks here and there by talking about it? Or is it because you love the product, you see the results it gets, you see what problems it solves, you're serious about wanting to uh, grow an additional income, no matter what it is, you know, I don't care what level you set that at, if you set it at $200 a month, you're going to achieve the $200 a month if you work towards it. If you want it to be $20,000 a month, well, guess what? You better be working in a way that the $20,000 a month is able to come through you, and it's not going to be maybe the way you think about it. Teresa's here. Hello, Teresa. <laughs> Lisa just told me not to say anything important. <laughs> it's all important. <laughs> One of the things that I remember specifically hearing, because when I, um, okay, so the very first home-based business that I ever did was at 17 years old, and it was Premier Designs Jewelry. And I didn't know what the heck I was doing. I booked probably 23 shows my first year, and yes, I made all my money back and I had all these other things going, but I was 17, 18 years old and I really didn't know what I was doing. I was successful in spite of myself because I didn't know what I was doing, to be completely honest. I mean, I really feel like I just was gung-ho and this, I didn't have a fear of no, I didn't have a fear of any of that and I well made back my money and then some, but did I have the drive to build a team or to learn how to do any of those other things? No, I didn't. And I went on and I was in the hairdressing world and I became manager and I did all these other things and I love being a hairstylist, and in the course of being a hairstylist, um, you know, I saw, um, actually it was my, my ex-husband at the time, well, he wasn't my ex-husband at the time, he's now my ex-husband, my, he wasn't even, <laughs> how do I say this? That sounds really weird. Sean, we'll call him Sean, because that's his name. Um, Sean, we're, we were not married, we were not dating anything at the time, um, he was actually working with Primerica. Primerica, if you don't know, is a it's a home-based business. It did prepaid legal services and it did life insurance and you had to take a life insurance course and actually get you know a license, you know, a license to do this and the whole nine yards and it was like crazy. I think it was something like $900 um, to do everything to like become a consultant and it was like this whole program you know to get financially independent and his big pitch was you know do you want to be a millionaire you know and he I mean he literally wanted to walk up to everybody you came in contact with and go would you like to make a million dollars I mean that was like his business approach like the whoa walls up you are crazy dude you know kind of multi-level marketing kind of guy there right um, I focused really hard on the prepaid legal services that they offered and I actually still use their prepaid legal services today though I have not been affiliate affiliated with them in Hmm, how many years now? Eight years. Eight years. Um, there are people in that in those industries making buku dollars, and it's limitless because of the structure and the way the company is built versus, you know, just staying stuck at one level. Um, so that's kind of like my history in the MLM. I had always, you know, made back money, did things, but I never really built teams. When Melanie came to me about uh, close to my heart and saying, you know, Megan, you are already selling these cartridges for me. You love them so much. You love the stamp sets. You X, Y, Z with where the manufacturing is done. Um, come on board. I, Melanie might even show up tonight and be here. And um, I actually was really struggling with it because I was just like, I don't think I want to get in, in on this. Um, from you know multiple actually from multiple standpoints actually at the time because I didn't want to limit myself to what I was talking about um, I had actually talked to another friend who was like well let's do the math on this okay their commission level is only 22 percent if you want to make your a standard income you know average American income of forty thousand dollars let's just say that's the average American income forty thousand um, dollars I'm going to talk to Michelle about the value of network marketing in a second um, this was this was her thought on this. If you want to make the average of forty thousand dollars and it's at twenty two percent, that means you are going to have to sell and push over two hundred thousand dollars worth of product. 
while this is very true, if you're making 20, for example, 20% commission to earn $40,000 cash in your pocket just from that commission, I would have to sell $200,000 worth of stuff. That would be over selling over $16,000 a month. Now, that doesn't sound very appealing to many people, does it? To say, like, if you want to replace your income, that's what you have to do. Well, that's not how network marketing actually works. The value in marketing is from building a team, becoming a leader, and bringing people in under you, forming people underneath you to bring on more people. That is where the true value comes in. And Michelle, I will let her um, say, you know, from her standpoint in the network marketing field, Michelle, do you... Uh, do you want to give out kind of a, a little teaser of what you know and what you see in a month? And I'll just share that here tonight with everybody. Um, Michelle is an incredible network marketer. She's been doing this for uh, a couple years now. Um, she's actually been a great mentor to me. She was at HSN with me a little while ago. Um, she is the one that uh, opened the world to me of, of helping me find um, that the other makeup that I'm using and, and the and so much more and she really does know the true value of building those um, relationships in marketing to um, succeed to success and it's not just about any warm body that you can bring on and and cult, you know pushing people in and, and doing all those things but having that game plan, having that option. So if you're going into something like a close to my heart, just for example, I'm using close to my heart, I'm picking on close to my heart, even though I'm not because I do close to my heart, there is so much value in what you can achieve and what you can do. But you also want to be really truly looking into the differences of the companies that you're trying to get to the end results of. Are you looking to just solely do scrapbook supplies and that be it, <laughs> and from that one company only, or are you looking to kind of expand that search? What market are you most interested in? And, and actually, Teresa, I'm gonna pick on you for a second because I know Teresa does Jamberry Nails. She's very successful at Jamberry Nails. And I also know, Secret Insider here, um, there's another market that she has a great angle on, a great, phenomenal angle on because it's filling a need that so many people have and she's utilizing network marketing to um, be able to reach that goal and to reach that market without having to go out and Michelle go ahead and just start typing and I'll read in what what you write um, I'll read out what you write um, kind of gave you a little outline there so just you go <laughs> and I'll fill that in I'm just gonna keep talking till it shows up because there's the delay um, uh, so she does Jamberry and she's also doing other amazing things and totally, man, she's going to do some awesome stuff. I just know it. I know it. And I don't know exactly, you know, the final goal and the final direction she's going to take with it. Um, and I also know, oh, she missed the question. <laughs> of course she did. Um, Michelle, I was just wondering if you could share a little bit of some of your success in the home in the home-based business uh, network marketing world, the kind of success that you've seen and have and in the period of time that you've had it in and your secret to it. And I think, you know, I think everybody would be interested to know where you're at in the company and what, and what you're doing. And, um, you know, it's just great to see other people um, with their success stories, you know, above and beyond just the one person you're connected to. You really want, in any home-based business that you're in, you really want to seek out, you know, above above your direct upline because there's people successful above your upline. If your upline, you know, if your upline happens to be at the top of the company and bringing people in, man, you are in a golden spot. If your upline is starting and you're building together, work together and build that team. It's really important. And there are so many different companies out there with different compensation structures, um, with different plans. But you know what? To, to truly have the success, it's not going to be just off of your one-off sales here and there. It's going to be through building your team, building leadership development, and helping your team 
to build those same skills and bring on other people. That is what gets you to that top. That is what gets you above and beyond. And so many people miss that point and they get frustrated quickly going, um, I'm doing all these sales or I'm not doing all these sales and I'm, I'm stuck and I just never really did anything with it and da 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 da, da. And, and they're missing that, that bridge to the next step. And it's a lot easier than you think. And companies now, man, the way, the way things are structured in so many, Longevity, for example, they actually offer you a bonus when people sign on. Many companies don't. They offer you a bonus when people sign on. There's different structures and codings. There's different levels that people can join in at, which not every company does. Um, so there, there's values and benefits to different things. And when you understand those, you can make really awesome choices towards your goals, towards what your end goals may be. Um, and, you know, it's finding out, it's really figuring out what yours are, okay, and where you want to go and what you want to be earning and what it's going to take to get you there, okay, and being committed to it. I wanted to share a really, really, really interesting, amazing uh, fact in the United States. And I may have shared it once before, but 82% of women, no, not of women, 82% of women, it is women, but I'm saying it with a pause. 82% of women that earn $100,000 or more a year, okay? So of all the women out there that earn $100,000 or more a year, 82% of them do it through a home-based business. To me, that's like a mind-blowing number of true success out there in home-based businesses. No matter which one you choose, it's done through home-based businesses. And you really, when you get behind a home-based business, it needs to be something that speaks to you. It needs to be something that you can proudly educate on. It needs to be something that you can proudly demonstrate. It needs to be something that resonates in your heart of things to share and do and show. Michelle has a little just story here. Um, she has a passion for sharing the benefits of health giving products and loves to build a family of friends and business partners who want to embrace a mission bigger than themselves. Okay. She has thrived in longevity. She absolutely has. <laughs> I think she's giving me her actual bio here. <laughs> um, she's worked in a couple other different network marketing things, but never really gelled. Uh, she did meet Keith Hall at a convention uh, of the association. And she realized um, she hadn't originally planned to be there or attend this business session or conference, but something told her she needed to be there. And she uh, changed... She changed her reservation, and after listening to Keith's presentation, she realized why she needs to be there. Um, she's now 100% longevity ever since, and has experienced rapid growth in the business. And um, yeah, Teresa is going, wow, that is a mind-blowing number for sure. It absolutely is, and it's 100% true. You can check it with the Census Bureau or whatever, whatever income stat. It's literally 82% of women that make $100,000 or more is doing it through home-based businesses. And they're not doing it just by doing one-off sales here and there. They're doing it by really, truly building and taking the action steps required to be successful. Uh, Michelle does have a lot of different strategies on uh, converting satisfied uh, product pur purchasers. So just people that are consuming the products naturally. They're going online. They're visiting your website. They're picking up what you have because they love it. She's converting them into business builders. And... Michelle literally is at the top. She is up there. She is at the top, on the tracks, one of those statistics, awesome, amazing women doing this. And I, I've just loved working with her and talking to her about these things because you see it. Um, the same thing in working with Melanie. You know, I've seen her amazing success and the team that she has built through Close to My Heart. And, you know, it's amazing to see, like, through doing what I do and knowing the strategies, when you put it together, you, the the downline team, uh, la, 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 93, 93 on the Close to My Heart team and 22 in doTERRA. Um, in doTERRA, I started in July, no, June, July. Kayla, are you here? When did I start doTERRA? <laughs> 
I signed up June 22nd. June 22nd for doTERRA and already at the level of director um, in doTERRA doing the same business principles. Um, you can see Michelle's ranking and recognitions if you click on her longevity link. The same thing with uh, Close to My Heart. Um, basically, the only reason why it hasn't gone to the next level is because working with the team to build the team. And that's why I'm talking to you guys about this a little bit now because for you guys to truly experience the success that you're after and the goal building that you're after and the lifestyle changes, it really is about building that team. Donna just said, I have sold a lot of things, but I never felt the desire to build a team. But that is probably why I didn't sell it anymore. I don't sell it anymore because I wasn't making any money. And you know what? It's not always it's not always about that money, that dollar sign that sh that drives everybody. It really isn't. For me, it has truly always been what's going to help change people's lives. What is going to help benefit somebody in what they love doing? What's going to help benefit somebody's health? What is going to help benefit somebody's skin? What's going to help benefit you know, I love my Jamberry nails. If you're here tonight and you want Jamberry nails, hook up with Teresha. She's the scrapbooking queen on here. You can private message her even through here um, because they're awesome. I can't sell everything and I want to and I've actually like <laughs> done a total like, whoa, mind blown on certain things because I didn't do all of my research on every single company out there before I made certain decisions that I made. I thought I was doing my research with a lot, but I, I didn't. But does it matter? Nope, because I am, I'm prospering where I'm planted and what decisions I have made. And I want my team to grow and prosper and flourish. And the one thing that I always, 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 always want to point out in a home-based business, if you are working for a home-based business that is centered around one niche, which most of them are, but not all of them, I'll be very clear on that, not all of them are, the ones that are based around one niche, for example, we've seen it happen through, through Creative Memories. Creative Memories was a long time one that was out there. Everybody loved Creative Memories, got on board, loved Rhonda Anderson, loved what she was doing, and they saw Creative Memories and all these uh, consultants were building these businesses and doing these things and creative memories imploded, right? From creative memories came Ani and Zoe, brought all the new consultants back on, blah, 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 blah. And as of September 1st, September 1st or September 13th, now I forget what the press release said. I feel like it said the 13th, but that doesn't make a lot of sense. Um, as of September of this year, Ani and Zoe is closing and all the consultant contracts go away again. What happens to all those consultants, okay? What happens to you and the business that you're building in the process of uh, on, on your way to the top in one of these companies? What happens if the company changes directions? What happens if A, B, C, D, or E? And that is your key, most important thing. Um key, most important thing in any home-based business, network marketing business that you build, and I will say it over and over again, is your database, your list, your personal resources. That is why I believe so wholeheartedly in building that blog, building that mailing list, building that value, and building those relationships outside and in correlation with the product, idea, service you are presenting. Because no matter what, no matter what, if you're truly valuing, helping, finding results for people, even if you don't have all the information, you're giving them your very best with the information you currently have, they are going to trust you to say, hey, this didn't work out, come over here. This is what I am now doing and this is why. And that is what I'm going to stress over and over and over again to everyone who is doing this. And a lot of times people will take that and they get scared going, well, I can't have any security. Or I can't have any trust. You shouldn't have trust or security in any one company. You shouldn't have trust or security in your own company. Okay. What are you going to do from the standpoint of something implodes on you, business goes bankrupt, 
what can you still do with all of those customers? What can you still do with all those relationships? It's really important. It's really important. Um, Donna said that she's been thinking about selling. It works. I used the wraps and they worked amazing. I felt so much better because I felt better about my body. And that is awesome. And that's really what it, it really is what it is about. You know, I mean, I, I do several different, and this is the other thing. I do personally several different network marketing businesses. I do them because my, my expertise isn't necessarily in every single one of those products. It happens to be a little bit with the, with the close to my heart thing because they have the Cricut cartridges and Cricut is a little bit of my expertise. I'll give you that. Scrapbooking, am I the most amazing designer out there? Heck no, heck no. Can I teach, can I teach techniques and ideas? Absolutely. I have a little bit of a strength there. I think most of you would agree and give the testimonial to say, Megan has a little bit of a strength in teaching and in marketing. And that truly is where my strength lies. And I do some of the different uh, network marketings because I am doing my absolute everything to learn the different systems that are out there to get the success to show you how to do it yourself. Because why would you listen to me if I'm telling you how to build a network marketing business if I've never had success, if I've never ranked as a director or an executive or made any of the bonuses that they talk about or commissioned out or built any bit of a team? You wouldn't, would you? So I do have a couple different ones going on from that standpoint. Um, and my goals with them literally are not, and this is gonna sound really weird. My goals with them literally are not for the income of those particular businesses. My income goal is very, very, very specific from a very specific source of, of a specific formula that I am working on doing separately from even all of that. And my main goal and push with all of it is once again, to help others find their success, to realize their dreams, and to find the path and the tools to be able to use it. That's why we're doing the 30 days. Because man, there are so many simple things that you can do to take action that's going to start that motion into starting to make the contacts, to make the connections, to build the relationships that boom, Boom, explode your success. Lisa, go ahead and re try to refresh your screen. I don't think it should be, it shouldn't be black. I'm showing a full strong um, HD resolution. Yeah, like everything is on and showing, showing strong in my broadcaster windows here. Don is addicted to nail polish. Man. Okay, so another reason for Jamberry, I'm gonna do another Jamberry plug, and you guys are gonna think I'm a consultant, but I promise you I'm not. <laughs> go talk to Teresa, go talk to Pam, they're the two consultants I use. Um, they don't chip. These have been on for, wow, when did we do craft? We did craft on Friday, so it's been a week and a half. These have been on for a week and a half. There is no chipping, there's no peeling, there is no nothing. Everywhere I go, people comment on them. Um, and the best part is I have a newborn baby who's teething. Well, he's not newborn. He's five months today. Can you guys believe Graydon's five months today? And man, you know, I trust that he can chew on my fingers and he's not going to get a chunk of nail polish in his mouth. He's not going to get something gross from that. Um, Jellish never worked for me. It always just peeled right off. Um, so you don't have all the chemicals and the, the, I'm I'm really like I'm going crunchy man the essential oils the minerals mineral makeup the the minerals I'm actually putting in my body now through um being careful with what I say but the minerals I'm literally putting into my body through the drinks that I'm choosing to have right now yes Teresa has been trying to get me on her Jamberry team <laughs> I can't I can't do one more <laughs> I am at my I'm at my max with the teams I'm trying to with the teams I have going and I really want to help people be successful but if you're using if you're using the tools that I'm talking about in the by Megan Elizabeth stuff if you're building the website if you're using the social media like I talked about we're gonna do a full social media class on hashtags and tagging the at sign the tagging man my mind was blown at cropped because we had so many people that were frustrated with the hashtagging for the challenges and I want people to get it because it's such a valuable marketing tool there is so many valuable marketing things that you can be doing that literally 
85% or more of people out there aren't doing in their home-based businesses to build connections, to build exposure, and they're not being pushy salespeople at all. At all. They're having fun and they're doing something they love and they're enjoying things like Jamberry Nails or they're enjoying creating amazing products like um, photo tote bags and custom phone cases through Heritage Makers or, you know, awesome, you know, digital books and stuff like that. Or they're creating amazing projects using the Cricut cartridges close to my heart and they're having so much fun with it. And that's really what it should be all about. <laughs> I get sick of seeing hashtags. Well, Donna, <laughs> some people do overdo hashtags because they don't know what they're doing with them. It is annoying when people literally go, hashtag, um, my cat just, oh, I don't even know. I can't even think of a good one. There's some really annoying ones though. But when you properly Pinterest, Instagram, tag things, holy cow, it opens up a whole new world of marketing for you and a whole new base of prospects. A whole new base of prospects. Because one person is not just a one-time sale. One person, talked about this before, by the age of 19, generally speaking, you know 2,000 people. By the age of 19, you personally know 2,000 people. Do you have close relationships with all 2,000 people? Probably not. By the age of 40, do you think it goes up a little higher than 2,000 people? Well, what do you think that one sale, that one person has connections to themselves? Okay, even if they just tell one other person, does that one other person have a connection to somebody else? You always have to think bigger and outside that one person, one sale, end of story go. It's that relationship that keeps it going. It's that relationship that is kept above Ruby Studio going when literally things fell apart in the business. Things fell apart in the marriage. Things fell apart everywhere else. Okay, fell apart. But my success wasn't in that one product. My success wasn't in that one thing, that one whatever. It's relationships. And it's, it's relationship marketing that truly will sustain you through anything, through any company crashing, through any changes that can be made. And by taking consistent action, by consistently doing your research, by consist consistently reaching out, you're going to see consistent results. You will. <laughs> Michelle needs to learn hashtagging. Hashtagging is really meant for people to be able to search and find, or for your own reference of being able to search and find related posts. So when you do a hashtag, for example, at Cropped, we did hashtag Cropped2. That way we could see everybody's uh, challenges when we searched for it in the different social media platforms. Okay, and it's 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 a really cool thing when you start to realize it. And tagging in S, in SEO, search engine optimization, when you're doing blogging, when you're doing anything social media wise, um, it's a valuable thing. And the thing that I think a lot of people miss when they're doing Facebook or they're doing Pinterest or they're doing these different goals is that they don't have an end path in mind. Your goals should be a path. And therefore, your business plan, your personal weight loss plan, your how I'm going to raise my kids, your personal growth and development, it should be a path, a blueprint, and a plan. It's not just a, that instant open door success. It's a path that you take. And when you bring your customers in along that path, you have unusual success because you're building that relationship. When you're utilizing Facebook, Instagram, all the different social medias, there should be an end path in mind. You should be taking them to that list. You should be taking them to your front end product, but then have a whole bunch of back end products. What's your front end product? Your number one, number one thing that, that gets people on. Whether it's a product that you sell or a product that you're giving away, that, that's your number one. And then everything else comes around and wraps around that. And it should be the thing that gets you the residual income and the thing that gets you the residual sales and the thing that gets you the repeat customer because they're able to come back around to everything that you're leading them to. When your team knows you, likes you, and trusts you, success will follow. And that's 100% true. 
Yeah, Angela, I mentioned the 30-day challenge, and I'm doing health included in that. And a couple of the things that I'm going to be utilizing in the health cleanse um, is going to be essential oils for literally cleansing, um, cleaning out your system. Uh, essential oils have... Um, all the antimicrobial properties to literally clean you out um, and not from a laxative way, but literally if you have, I mean, it can be really gross, but having um, exposure to different parasites and worms and intestinal things that actually happen from the meats that we eat and believe it or not, even the vegetables that we buy, um, those little things kind of can get in there. And I've, you know, learned about this through being in the chiropractic field. You know, I've been in the health Again, I'm not a master in it, I'm not a doctor, but I've done this before where I've literally done a 30-day cleanse of eating absolutely, this is not what we're going to do, but 30-day cleanse where I did nothing but whole fruits and vegetables and I introduced a little bit of protein after three weeks. <laughs> it was very difficult. And this time, yes, juicing. Okay, I'm starting, we're starting this on September 1st. September 1st, we're starting this, and it's going to be every single day. And what what it's going to be, and I'll just kind of outline it again. For, uh, first thing you're going to do is <laughs> you're going to write out your daily three every single day. Your daily three is the top three things you're most thankful for that day, the top three things on your action plan list for that day, and I'm going to give you some of them, and your top three big goals. Your top three big goals is keeping them at the front of your mind. Okay, those are, that's going to be the first thing. The next thing we're going to do is we're actually going to do a little bit of personal development and personal growth. I'm personally going to take you on a journey through the book of Proverbs. Um, I'm not doing a Bible study on it. I am not doing a anything above and beyond expressing the words of encouragement and wisdom that are there. Whether you believe in God or not, there are specific uh, bits of wisdom, instruction, help when it comes to success in business, when it comes to success in health, when it comes to success in relationships. Um, Proverbs 31 is why Above Ruby Studio is called Above Ruby Studio. Um, and we're actually going to start because there's, <laughs> there's 31 Proverbs and there's 30 days to our challenge. We're going to do the 31st and the 1st on the same day. And I think it's a perfect way to kick it off because um, when you read the Proverbs 31 woman, and I have failed at this man. Hello, not married anymore. Um, <laughs> is it all because of me and all of my choices? No. Uh, did I make some of the best ones I could in the situation? Yep, absolutely. Um, please do a video diary with it, Teresa. Please do a video diary. That would be awesome to see everybody do a video diary along with us. Um, so that's where we're starting from the personal side. Just a little something. If, if the Bible is not... If it's truly not your thing and you really feel like you're not going to get anything from it and you're going to be closed off, then I'm going to encourage you, go ahead and find something encouraging, inspiring, inspirational for you. But I would love for you to come along on the 30 days just for the Proverbs a day. I promise you, you will be encouraged and inspired and find some things out that, I don't, I don't know, they hit you and you're just like, whoa, and that works? Whether you put God to practice or not, his word works. Um, so... We're going to do that. That's going to be our personal development side. Then we're going to do our <laughs> little bit of a, a morning ritual, if you, if, if you will. And you can take it as far as you want by doing completely clean living, clean eating and juicing, which is doing nothing but eating clean, clean is fruits and vegetables. No processed food, no processed sugars, no refined sugars, no nothing for 30 days. That's up to you. But what I'm going to tell you to do is use an essential oil called, it's a detoxification blend, um, blend called Zendocrine, lemon, you know, whatever it may be in there. And you're going to do some cleansing with essential oils and some mood boosting with essential oils. Then, because the essential oils are cleaning you out, you're getting your system detoxified, you want to be putting good stuff back in, probiotics, minerals, vitamins, etc. that essential oils don't give you. They help cleanse you, they help boost your mood, they do a lot of awesome, amazing things, but you may be missing out on some of the vitamins, nutrients, and we are so mineral deficient as human beings walking around this earth, and that's where so many mental and emotional issues come from, is because people aren't dealing with their guts 
And when I say their guts, I mean their stomach issues. Their intestines are screwed up. We're eating crap. We're not putting the right crap back in. Um, Michelle shared with me, dead doctors don't lie. Holy moly, was that mind blowing. Mind blowing. Check it out. Michelle, you can share a link, I'm sure, if you're even still here. Um, but dead doctors don't lie. Um, so we're going to be putting back in some minerals through just basic things. And that's, this is just part of what I'm doing. Like, I'm doing it, and I'm bringing you guys along with it, okay? That's, that's how it's going. Then from there, we got our, we got our um, daily three down. We got our personal development started. We got our physical body started. Then we're going to do our business development, okay? And... The business development is going to literally, literally be creating one thing a day. If you're with Close to My Heart, create a card. If you're doing something with Stampin' Up, create a scrapbook layout. Do something creative. If you're with doTERRA Essential Oil, grab an infogram. Use PicMonkey. I've showed you this inside by Megan Elizabeth, how exactly to do it. it does, you don't have to have any Photoshop skills whatsoever. You can do this. It's literally grab the image. They're all in your back office, put in your web address and something valuable, results, testimonial, story, facts, tell, stories, sell. You're going to be telling stories left and right and you're gathering testimonials. Carmen, she's here tonight. She's one of my awesome, most awesome testimonials. Gives me chills every time I think about it, about my essential oils. The, the literal changes that happen from her using the essential oils blows my mind. You have to have a real value. You have to have something that really helps people. 31, I use 31 to literally organize all of my scrapbooking stuff. When I travel, I use the large tote bag. I showed it over the craft weekend. I literally use the large tote bag to carry my machine. I have the medium size one for this. I blah, 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 blah. It goes on and on and on. Um, so we're gonna be doing that. I'm also going to be giving you the reach out. We are going to, I'm, I'm going to hold you guys accountable to doing reach out of two to three, two to five people. I'm going to say two or three, but two to five people every single day that you are physically messaging, getting in contact with and exposing what you're doing to. Am I, am I asking you to call them and say, Hey, would you like to buy my product? No, please don't do that. You're going to turn people off and they're going to go running and then you're going to go, Megan, it didn't work. Of course it didn't. You're scaring people. Knock it off. <laughs> Let's not scare people. Okay? Katie, you're here because you're trying to grow your, your music. Okay? So from that standpoint, maybe be posting those little bits and those little um, teasers and little videos that you can put out of you sharing your music. You getting in contact with people going, hey, would you share this for me? Getting exposure out there for your music. It doesn't matter what industry you're trying to grow in. It doesn't matter what it is you're trying to do. These principles will work, and they're getting you on the path of the mindset to creating the habits of success. Okay, that's what this whole 30 days is about. It's getting you on the path to changing the way your body works. It's getting you on the path to creating goals and having them at the forefront of your mind. It's getting you in the habit of taking action even when you don't feel like it. And I've done this 30 days by myself already, and I've done them in under two hours a day. Now, I don't create scrapbook layouts in under two hours every single day. So I know many of you are going, whoa, hello, time out. It'll take me three hours just to create one scrapbook alone. Well, then don't do a whole scrapbook page. And keep it simple. There are so many things with Close to My Heart or Stampin' Up. Close to My Heart has amazing base and bling. Do one little piece of jewelry and post it. One piece of jewelry and post it. You're always posting something of a how-to, of a value, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Carmen's already feeling better every day from using the essential oils, and she can't wait for the 30-day challenge. I can't either. I'm so excited for everybody to come on board with this because it really is putting those principles to work for you. And then as you go, you're going to be taking on new, you'll be taking on new tasks as you go. And it's, it's breaking it down into bite-sized chunks instead of this big overwhelming picture of, oh my gosh, I have to build a blog. Oh my gosh, I have to figure out this. Oh my gosh, I have to build a list. Oh my gosh, I have to, ooh, and you go nuts. And there's, seriously, there's no reason for that. There is a simple path. And you know what I loved? I shared it last week. Kayla found it on a trail out in middle of nowhere here in Wisconsin. It wasn't really the middle of nowhere, but it was some 
I don't know, some park they were at, and they had these little sayings clipped to the trees, and it said, for the next, thir the next 30 days are going to come whether you like it or not. For the next 30 days, you might as well try something new or something, I gotta find it. Okay, come on now, can you work for me, phone? I keep everything on my phone. Set reminders on your phone. You can tell yourself positive stories and positive affirmations by setting a little alarm on your phone saying, I'm going to be XYZ, or I'm going to do ABC, or man, you can set just all kinds of reminders to do amazing things with. Now, where is this thing? I gotta find it. I hope I didn't delete it. That would be really a big, huge bummer. Um, I screen capture quotes and sayings. I have so many pictures on here. It's ridiculous. And I really do need to, um, <laughs> I really do need to organize them. <laughs> Cause I can't find it. And I, I, it's literally right. Oh, there it is. I found it. It says the next 30 days are going to pass whether you like it or not. So why not think about something you have always wanted to try and give it a shot for the next 30 days. Now, that didn't inspire my 30-day challenge, but when I saw it after I was planning the 30-day challenge, I was like, that's so cool. The guy's name is Matt. Um, and it's just awesome. It, it just, it's just awesome. And I really just want to get those things going. And I'm using, I'm using this book. I'm using this book. And I would encourage you, grab a notebook. You don't have to do anything quite so extensive. But make sure you know what your goals are. Make sure you know that those goals have a purpose behind them for you. You know, if it's just this dream of, oh, it'd be nice to own a yacht someday. Well, guess what? There's no charge or power to action in that for you at all. There's not. There's not. If there is no real legitimate power and charge to the goals that you're setting, you're not going to get anywhere with them. So really get serious about the goals that you want to achieve. If they're spiritual goals, business goals, we talked about this. There are major key areas we talked about last week. And if you're not setting your goals in those key areas, you're not setting yourself up for success and figuring out what the priorities are in that. And now I can't find it. Ah. Your family, your health, your spiritual, your personal and fun, your educational, your financial, and your business. Are you in debt? What's your plan? What is your plan to reach the goal to get out of debt? And so many people do not go through life making any kind of plan. They don't make any kind of plan for parenting. They have kids and they just hope for the best. I'm working on my plan with my parenting. Some of it's going great. Some of it, oh my goodness. Had an epic meltdown tonight. I don't always make it as a mom. I don't have all the great success stories. I have some tips and ideas and things that have worked and getting through different seasons and getting my kids to sleep through the night and doing some of those things that have been huge successful for me. But I haven't had the experience in teenagers. That's why we are a community. We're a team. We're building. We're encouraging. We should be helping one another. And that's what the By Megan Elizabeth site is all about. It, it truly is. If you're not there to encourage and inspire somebody else to reach their goals and to, to get on a path to reach yours, then... I don't think you're here for the right reason. If you're here just to, to, uh, I don't know, stomp on people, <laughs> please go away. <laughs> I love you and I will pray for you, but please go away. <laughs> um, yeah. And that's what I really, I just really want to get across with everyone. So I'm really excited. I have my little, this is actually my little, I'm not going to show you too much. I'll just peek it up here. But this is what each day is written out just like this. It's on these these sheets. I'm not going to show you that because you'll look. Um, I, I think I've shown you my little planners before. But each of my 30 days, I write it out on here on these little, I am a paper writer. I know I work on a computer all day long, but it, until I drop all my paper on the floor. But until I actually physically hand write it out, I think it's the creative um, right brain business person in me. By the way, right brain business, uh, the right guide to right brain business or something like that. It's building a business plan for the creative mind. It was an awesome book. It was a really awesome book. I'm all about the more you can read and get your hands on and grow from, grow from the more successful you're going to be. So many people stay stuck in thinking they have it all figured out. They stay stuck with just one whatever there's a flip side to that. There's a flip side to that because there are so many opinions out there, because there are so many different ways of doing things, you can get yourself spun out in a cycle. I had a friend, oh my goodness, they drove me absolutely nuts, like nuts beyond all words because 
No direction worked. Nothing worked. Because it was constantly, whoa, and I can get, in, I can get into that. You have to be really careful. Sure, Angela, I can, I can email it out. I was going to start doing that. Um, I was going to start doing that. <laughs> eat that, are you talking, oh no, is it the book, Eat the Frog, Eat That Frog? I've heard so many awesome things. There's another one called Start, Just Start. Another one called Do the Work. Yes, Brian Tracy, Eat That Frog. Awesome. Awesome. There's so much out there that really will help, but you have to be able to put in your own discernment and before you start taking those paths, you have to see your goal and you have to start developing your path. Does that mean you won't change directions sometimes to get an, or your goals won't change sometimes? Absolutely not. My goals have changed. My goals have changed big time, especially since become, becoming a single mom. My goals went from different things with my family to major different things in the, the way I want to help other people. Major difference. Major difference. And they change. Your life develops and changes. And actually, I don't know if some of you may have seen it, and it's a little embarrassing. It's a little embarrassing, to be completely honest with you. But at the same time, it's my transparency and the authenticity of myself, authenticity, because I push authenticity, um, is that for my Throwback Thursday, uh, hashtag TBT, if you say hashtag TBT means throwback Thursday. It happens every Thursday and some people post every Thursday, some don't and you hashtag it so people can find it and it goes into the trending and yada yada. Um, my TBT was actually my valedictorian speech in 2001. Long time ago it feels like and I can't, it's, it's hard to believe and I bawled my eyes out. I actually just found the video a couple nights ago and it was actually um, the other day I posted on Facebook. I said, you know, there has been more than once in the past two weeks where I've literally just bawled my eyes out going, what direction am I supposed to go? Because there's still times where I don't know exactly what I'm supposed to be doing, exactly when, exactly how. Every time I get on one of these calls, I pray my heart out because I don't want to give you guys, I don't want to say bad information because I know I'm not giving you bad information, but I don't want to be giving you guys just filler and fluff and junk. I want to be giving you guys results. I want to be giving you guys tools that are going to get you somewhere, not just waste your time every Thursday night. And there's times where it's like, I know what I want to say and the point I want to get across, but I don't know how it's going to come across. And I don't do any of this out of my own power um, <laughs> at all, um, for sure. <laughs> and uh, Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 came to mind, and it was just trust in the Lord with all your heart, lean not on your own understandings, in all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your paths. And there's so many awesome verses in Proverbs, which is why I'm going to really encourage it, where it talks about doing the work and God blessing the path and helping you with your path and helping you find that. And that is what's so important to me and I, what I had to share. But um, when I was the 16, 17-year-old girl in 2017, I was almost 17, in 2001, I um, wrote this speech. I actually helped my mom and dad help me in structuring what I wanted it to say. Um, filled with every favorite Bible verse that I had at the time and honestly still have it to this day. They're very important Bible verses to me. And some of what I said with my whole heart meant, and I still mean it to this day. And it's crazy because I failed it miserably. And I'm still that girl. I'm still that person. I'm still that one going, God, send me a flipping email. I'm still in that fast-paced society. I'm still in that fast-paced, got to get it, got to get it now. And that's what we. That's the world we live in now. 50 years ago, it wasn't that way. 50 years ago, we didn't have the internet building businesses and, and doing these different things. And, and times change. And being aware of that, being aware of where our market is at, being aware of where our society is at, is where you have to focus to know to make the changes. Because what worked three years ago may not work now. And there's adjustments. What worked on Facebook three years ago certainly doesn't work now. It certainly doesn't work now. They change things. There's rules. There's you know, it's always evolving in the terms of use and services. It's always evolving on Pinterest. It's always whatever. And you've got to be willing to do the research and to learn and to grow from others and listen to things like this where people are doing their research for you to grow and to learn so that you can grow and further yourself. 
and I kind of got off topic of what I was saying, but um, I, that little girl who's, and I say little girl, um, but that girl who gave that valedictorian speech as a very, I feel very naive, uh, sheltered good Christian girl, still holds very tight and true to that, even though she royally screwed up many times and walked away and came back to those same words. Come back to those same words when those struggles and those trials that there was going through was health and multiple stomach surgeries and broken arms and frustrations of being a teenager, not being normal health, to going through divorce, through going through abuse, through going through the other things. Um, there's a purpose. And when you come back to those, it's really kind of, wow. So yes, I posted that as my TBT because I wanted it uh, to hopefully encourage and see You have to still live and learn some things. You're still going to make mistakes. You're not going to ever have it 100% right. Not going to. But that's what makes it I that's what makes it all so worth it in the end is because if those things if you can go through those things and you can see those things and I love Danny's story for that. You know, I see it all the time. If you can go from being completely homeless, having no market, no resources, no education, you can throw out those excuses and you can be successful. It's, man, do your research, do that reaching out and get those results. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. That's what the 30 days are all about. And it's from every standpoint because if your one goal, you know, if your whole goal and your whole everything in life is just to be financially successful, well, what's happening to your physical health? What's happening to your spiritual health? What's happening to your family? There's going to be things about the family included in your 30 days as well. Just little things, little tips, little ideas, little thoughts. Mm -hmm. Michelle just said if you did, life would be boring. Be. But you can use those things. And you know, it's, it's funny, you know, you learn. Everybody's motivated by something different. Everybody's motivated by something different. Melanie and I were talking tonight because we really, really want to encourage our team to build their own teams. And, you know, we were talking about different ideas and incentives and things like that. And, you know, even Donna just said tonight she never had a desire to build a team. And what I find really interesting about that, and I, I talk to different people, and everybody's different, so I'm not, Donna, please don't think I'm picking on you or saying this is you, because I don't really know. We haven't ever had a discussion about it. But the different people that I have had discussions about with it is a lot of times people don't have the desire to build the teams out of their own, out of fears, out of different fears that they have, out of fears of thinking it's, gonna, it's going to be more work on them and what if it doesn't work, fear of success, fear of failure. You know, you kind of have those things. We've talked about fears before. And the one thing that I really kind of came back around on with this is, I don't want to say like it's selfish, but if you really think about it, if you're able to help somebody else by presenting, by building, by giving them the opportunity to become a part of something more, to do something that they enjoy, to supplement their income, you know, to put food on the table maybe, or maybe it is to even completely retire their husband. Re you know, Michelle has retired her husband and they are growing in this. Like her husband now is, she, I, that blows my mind. That's amazing to me. You know how many women I've talked to that have said, I would love to be able to supplement the income enough so that my husband can quit his second job. It's entirely possible. And it's entirely possible right from where you are at Yes, it takes commitment. Yes, it takes work. Yes, it takes consistency that you don't always feel like doing. But when you can offer that to somebody else, when you can offer that hope, when you can offer that opportunity, you don't have to have all the answers to train them and do them. All you need to say is, listen, I don't know about all that, but what I do know is so-and-so is doing this. I'm not there. I'd like to get there. I'm working on it. Do you want to come along with me? Do you know the hope that you can offer that person? And that's what excites me most about team building, team leadership. It does take you out of your comfort zone. 
But when you really are truly thinking about the other person on the other side, going through maybe some of the same struggles you, you went through, that you are going through, maybe struggles you know nothing about, and you can offer them a glimpse of hope, a glimpse of friendship and connection into something bigger outside of yourself or themselves, man, that's an amazing thing. That's an amazing thing. Yeah. Donna just said, I didn't want to, I didn't ever want to feel like I was talking somebody into something. I never thought of it as offering them an opportunity. And it is all about that mentality. And that's what I try so hard to get through week after week is switching that mentality and mindset of what success is. And success is different for everyone. Success is not a number, guys. Success is not a, I want to, I'm going to be a hundred thousand dollar woman, one of the 82%. You can be, that could be your goal and you can get there through consistency, through relationship building, through all of those things. Was a million dollar earner. Was a million dollar earner. Being a team leader can take you out of your comfort zone. It seems a little overwhelming to me to have others depending on me to lead them to succeed. But you know what the beauty in this, and this is what I'm still, I'm, I'm going to hit it again. You don't have to have all the answers to lead them. Most, most MLMs, do your research ahead of time. Most of them, not everybody's going to sit up here in their team and do what I do on a weekly basis. There are very, very, very many successful team builders and leaders who do not hold calls and build a website and do training and show you how to do a website and da da da. Not, not everybody's called to do that. Not everybody I think should be called to do that. Everybody has a different way of doing things and dealing. But most everyone, most every one of those businesses have their own training programs, have tools to say, here, this is where you go to be successful. Hey, I don't have all the answers on how to do this, but I know somebody who does. Let's go find them. And that's really what it comes down to. And it's never about talking. That's, I mean, that's what the whole relationship marketing is all about. It's never about talking somebody into something. If you're talking a warm body into a sale or into joining or into doing something just to have a warm body there, I think that that's crap. <laughs> I'll never tell you to do that. Because it's not going to be, it's not going to build a good relationship for you or for them. It's not going to build a good um, rapport of something they're going to want to go tell their friends about doing. It's not going to be any, it's not going to do anything good for anybody. Michelle just said, I have thousands under me, but you create leaders. She's talking to me. Wait a minute. I just read what she wrote, and I'm like, wait a minute. I create leaders? Is that what you're saying? I've always been a follower and want to learn how to be a leader. Leadership is a skill. People, you know, they often say, oh, you're, you know, you're born a leader. No. Leaders are developed. They're not born. There are certain people that are born with a specific design and desire. And if you have a desire, then certain things might become a little bit easier for you. But you don't have to, you can lead by, by so many different ways. You ever, you've heard the, the term lead by example. You can lead by example. You don't have to get up on a stage and be, okay, let's go, Tony Robbins, ooh, rah, rah, to be a leader. You want to develop the relationships to build people to see that they can realize their own hopes and their own dreams and their own whatever. And it's way more fulfilling than that paycheck at the end of the day. A million times over. A million times over. And uh, that's, the, that's my hope and prayer for each one of you guys is that you guys can, you can grab onto that and you can... I'm really trying to put together what Michelle's saying, and I know she's trying really hard, but I'm not following Michelle this moment. Michelle, <laughs> sorry. When you can find out what people's dreams are, when you can find out what people's pains are, when you can find out what people's goals are, you can cre help them create a map to their own success. And yes, it takes skill, it takes patience, it takes, oh, it takes a lot sometimes. There's times where people will get on your very last nerve. But if you're reacting to every, um, 
every situation and everything in a negative. Oh, people are so stupid. Man, you know, ah, ah, ah. why don't they get it, dummy? You know, and that's how you're reacting to everyone you come in contact with. And trust me, I've come in contact with people who react that way to everyone. And I am not going to stand up here on a high horse and say I've never had that reaction to anybody ever in my life. Trust me, I have. But if that's how you're, that's your general response and go to, hit a reset button. Hit a reset button. You're not going to be able to develop um, leaders. You're not going to be able to develop confidence. You're not going to be able to develop that roadmap to get people to their goals and their dreams if all you can look at them and think is, idiot. And your body language and your everything to t tells them that. Even if you're not literally calling them an idiot to their face, it's going to come out if that's how you're thinking about them. If you can think of them as the precious person that they are, and you know, the, oh, bless her heart, you know. But I mean, you know, literally, the value that they have and the desire that they were here for, put on this earth for, and there's just going to be people that you can't help, and you have to you have to learn to decipher, you know, there's going to be people that will suck up 98% of your time and not even give you 2% of their efforts or results. They're just constantly sucking up your time and complaining and doing those things, and it's a, it's a difficult thing to deal with. Yeah, it's, it's focusing on the positive. And that's part of personal development and growth, you know? And it's, gonna, it's amazing what it does when you can personally grow and you can work on those people skills no matter what you do. It's going gonna, it's gonna to follow you. It's going to follow you into weight loss. It's, go, it's going to follow you into your bank account, into getting out of debt, into all these things because it's a mind shift switch. And it's not something that everybody does. It's it's amazing to me because I, I listen to certain things and I, I watch certain successful people, people that I look up to or admire, and I listen to what they talk about and I'm like, well, duh, doesn't everybody? And I'm like looking around talking to other people about it and they're like, oh, I never thought of it that way. And I'm like, I'm, I'm learning something. I'm learning something new about people as I'm learning that people don't le know all the things that I know. <laughs> <laughs> or whatever it may be. Like, I know that sounds stupid, but, you know, never assume that everybody knows or does things the way you know or do them. There's value in everything that you do when you present it as value. Okay, we are past our time for tonight. Do you guys have any quick questions, anything that I can answer for you? I am going to be, I'm sending out everything for the 30 days up. I guess I can post the list of what I'm using. Um, the only products, products I'm using, um, and I, and I was sharing this more from the standpoint of like, I don't know where people are coming at this from, you know, I'm using doTERRA, I'm using longevity, I'm using close to my heart. So I didn't want to like push anybody into, you have to be a part of all of this to make your 30 day challenge successful. That's really not what it's all about. Um, I'm using specific products that I trust, that I use, that I work with that I love um, and and it's more about the purpose behind it than it is um, the actual product itself send to me too please okay everybody wants um, Teresa would you do you have my Teresa will you get in touch with me on Facebook tonight um, I want to make sure I don't I don't know if you are are you a back-end member of my Megan Elizabeth if you just want to answer me if you're not I would I want to talk to you about that and make sure you're on that I'll post it in the By Megan Elizabeth thing. I'll, I'll do that tonight, the things that we're using. I'll tell you real quick. We're going to use um, three different oils. I'll grab them real quick. Can you give me one second? Do you guys mind if I get up? I'm going to get up, and I'm going to come right back to you just so I can grab a few things. But I, I'll i try to talk to you from the other room. I'm going to read what Michelle <laughs> Michelle wrote, creating leaders allows you to only need to communicate with key people, which is awesome. Yes. Yes, you are a part of that, or yes, you will cut into contact with me. Yes, Katie, absolutely. You will still gain value through the 30 days because it is really working on you as a whole person, and it's developing skills and habits for success. It's not everything you need to do and you'll be successful. It's developing the habits to get you successful. Okay, awesome. 
Uh, Teresa, I will get with you on that. Give me one second. I want to grab a couple things. Ow. I'm going to show you what we're going to be using. Please let me know if you have questions. Oh, and of course, I can only find this one. Where is it? Okay. Okay. So for me, in the 30 days, these are what I'm going to be showing most and using um, regularly uh, for the cleanse. Now, I'm going to personally, for the 30 days with everybody, I am going to cut out carbs and refined sugars. I'm not cutting out all proteins and dairy. But what I am cutting out is all sugars and carbs for 30 days. <laughs> I've done it before. I can do it again. It just, bleh. but I'm doing it. I'm committing to doing this again for me. I'm going to be using Zendocrine. This is from doTERRA. This is a detoxification blend. Okay. If you are part of Longevity, there is one called GI Purify. Same thing. You can use that. The other one I'm going to be using is Citrus Bliss. This is the Mood Elevator. This is an invigorating blend. It's going to help give you guys some energy, a little bit of focus. And um, what the really interesting thing that I found about... <clears throat> this is uh, Zendocrine, Detoxification, and Citrus Bliss. These are the two main essential oils that I'm going to be using every single day. This is the Detoxification as you're doing the healthy eating. Citrus Bliss is the invigorating blend that's going to help with your mood and other things. The way I'm going to use these every single day, Citrus Bliss, I found an amazing thing. I didn't know this when I went into this. Citrus Bliss goes across my forehead. And it goes across my forehead as I do my morning prayers. It goes right down the side of my neck. Yes, you can put it in a drink. It goes on my wrist. The thing that I learned about Citrus Bliss that I found amazing is that in the, in the Bible, whether you believe or not, several of the ingredients in Citrus Bliss are in the Bible as, known as um, oils of, the oil of gladness or the oil of, oils of joy. And it was something that actually King David used and when he got dressed. He would anoint himself in oil as part of his day. You know, one of the wisest, wealthiest kings used oil very similar to some of the ingredients in Citrus Bliss in everyday care. And that's what was so cool to me. And Citrus Bliss has been one of the number one things that has helped fight my depression, get me off antidepressants and other things. So um, Zendocrine for detoxification, you can put it right across your stomach. And I highly recommend this one along the bottom of your feet. Now I'm going to show you the bottom of my feet. I can't believe I'm going to do this on this camera here, but whew, here's my foot. Uh, Zendocrine is going right down this part of the foot. This is what's in the stomach and the intestines. This whole part of the foot is where you want to put your Zendocrine and right across the stomach. You can also drink it. It does have a tiny bit of a soapy, soapy aftertaste. Tiny, tiny bit aftertaste. And that's because of the uh, uh, cilantro and the geranium in it. Right along the arch of your foot. Thank you. I'm showing you. I'm showing you my foot instead of using the technical term, Teresa. Come on now. <laughs> um, <laughs> you can also put it in your drink. If you're putting it in a drink, do not use plastic. Do not use plastic. Make sure you have a glass water bottle. And you'll just put th about two to three drops in a full 20 ounce amount of water. Okay? If you're going to drink it. You'll do that in the morning. These two. The other ones that I use regularly is Serenity or Balance. Okay, this is kind of one that seems to be more popular than Serenity, this grounding blend and the Focus blend throughout the day. Because this is new stuff and I feel like people, it's called Intune Focus blend. Um, it gets a little overwhelming. This helps deal with some of those overwhelming things. Okay. Um, Yeah, if you're if you're using uh, Zendocrine, and if you're using them pla in plastic, it pulls the toxins out of plastic, and it can actually disintegrate your plastic. And there's a whole other slew of things, so you want to use glass. But because of what I talked about earlier about the whole body health and putting minerals and vitamins and everything back into your system, 
I am using from Longevity. It's the 90 for life is what it's called. And it's the 90 um, essential vitamins and minerals. This is called Tangy Tangerine. Um, and it's the ultimate multivitamin mineral complex. <laughs> and it's got a ton of stuff in them. It, it really has everything. And this is a drink. Um, you just mix it into like 16, 20 ounces of water, put some ice in it and drink it up. And I've been doing this now every day. Um, it is from Longevity. It also goes along with the makeup that I'm using. It has the essential oils and the makeup and the absolutely pure, no talc, no fillers, no anything, which is keeping the chemicals off my skin when I'm already purifying and doing all that stuff. Do I have any more of those glass water bottles? I sent out all of the ones that I have. Oh, you didn't hear the third one? Um, the third, and it's kind of either or, it's kind of <laughs> either, it's, what the purpose of this is, is this is all new stuff and you're learning to focus on doing a new mind shift, a new change, a new whatever. Um, so the theory behind doing this is to help you focus and be set in doing these things. So I'm recommending using either balance or in tune focus blend. So that's the third, it's like one or the other. I'm, I'm recommending both, but it's one or the other. These are what I am using, okay? I'm not telling everybody you need to go out and use these things. <laughs> but they do, they do amazing things. They help a lot. Yep. Teresa's got it. Zendocrine and, Zend Zendocrine and Citrus Bliss are the two that you really will want to have. If you're using Longevity, you can use the GI, GI, I don't even remember what it's called now. GI Purify. Uh, da, 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 da. My little guy is waking up and he wants to eat. I don't know if you guys can hear him or not. <clears throat> it is called Yeah, GI Purify and To Be Happy if you're using the Longevity essential oil products. But I use doTERRA, I use endocrine, and I use Citrus Plus. But then with the Longevity, I use the essential oil makeup and the pure mineral makeup, and then the minerals and the vitamins to replace what I'm pulling out of the toxins to actually start rebuilding my health, to rebuild the cells, to rebuild the DNA, to rebuild everything that is causing so many of the health problems that we face in America, the heart disease, the um, cancers, the um, uh, strokes, heart attacks, all of that stuff. Okay, so I'm all about the full body, and that's why we're gonna we're gonna cover all those areas in our 30 day challenge. So you guys can I don't want to say pick and choose. I know it's not gonna be for everyone right off the bat, but hopefully you can return to it over and over and over again and start gaining those principles to success and those that come on board full and get it and like jump in head first no questions asked I'm doing this I I firmly believe they're going to be the ones to see the most success first because these are the these are the steps these are the, the foundational points to start changing your life to do something different to start getting results and start achieving your goals and that's what this is all about Okay, everyone, it's bedtime and Grady needs me. So <laughs> we're going to say good night. If you have any questions, let me know. I will send out a little email. These are the only products that I'm using. Everything else is going to be building product or building uh, create, creatives, graphics, etc. from your back end, from whatever it is that you're doing, from whatever business standpoint you're working on. So from like Katie's standpoint, doing the music, she's going to be working on creating little music samples. She's going to be working on creating little uh, bits of lyrics and things to put out there that will inspire people. She's going to be working on uh, branding herself. She's going to be doing all those different things. Those are what she's going to be working on as she's building her music side of things. She's not doing a home-based business, and she's going to be wildly successful because I just firmly believe in that. When you are consistent and dedicated, it doesn't matter where you come from. It doesn't matter your level of talent or skill. It matters what you do with it. It matters putting things aside. And it's not about knowing the right people. It's not about, 
It's, it's putting aside the excuses. It's putting aside the lies we tell ourselves. It's putting aside the fears. And it's going for it with a full heart of diligence and excellence and serving and honoring others. And you're going to be wildly successful. Successful. Okay, guys. Good night. I will talk to you again really, really soon. Bye.